Hello, Math Wizards. You can call me Teacher Mel. I'm a mathematics teacher for almost five years, and it has been my passion for kids to learn and love math. Alam niyo ba na ayon sa pag-aaral, ang bawat bata na katulad niyo ay may kakayahan na maging magaling sa math. Dapat lang natin gawin ay mag-practice tayo ng mag-solve, mag-solve, at mag-aral ng mga math problems. Ngayon, ang pag-aaralan natin is all about simple probability experiment. So, at the end of this video, you must be able to record simple probability experiment, express outcomes in a simple probability experiment, at ang value focus natin ay awareness and sensitivity sa mga nangyayari sa paligid natin. Okay. So, ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng salitang probability? By definition, ang ibig sabihin ng salitang probability ay chance that an event will happen. Halimbawa, ano nga ba yung chance na magiging maulan ngayong araw? Para paglabas natin ng bahay, makapag-ready tayo ng kapote at payong. O di kaya naman, ano yung chance na magiging maaraw? Para mas ma-enjoy natin, ang pagsiswimming sa beach. Or, ano naman kaya ang chance na mananalo ka sa laro? At, ano naman ang posibilidad na ikaw ay matalo? Ang tawag dito ay probability. Gaano nga ba kaposible mangyari ang isang bagay? Tossing a coin is an example of probability. So, in tossing a coin, there are only two possible outcomes. Dalawa lang yung posibleng lumabas. It's either a head or a tail. Head and tail have equal chances of showing up. Yung result na either head o di kaya yung tail ang lumabas, ang tawag doon ay success. Ang formula para makuha ang probability ng isang simple event ay P of E is equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcome. So, pag sinabing number of favorable outcomes, this is the total number an event occur. While the total number of possible outcomes, ito naman yung total number of all possible outcomes. So, going back to the problem. So, for this one, ang magiging question natin is, what is the probability of getting ahead? Ano yung probability na yung when we flip a coin, the result is head? So, ang gagawin natin, we need to count how many heads are there. Sa isang coin, pag flip natin, meron tayong isang head. Kaya yung number of favorable outcomes natin ay 1 isang head. And then, divided by the total number of possible outcomes, ano nga ba yung posibleng lalabas kapag i-flip natin yung coin? So, dalawa lang yung possible na lalabas. It's either a head or a tail. Okay. So, isulat natin sa ganitong way. So, P of head is equal to 1 over 2. Kasi there are two possible outcomes. And then, the favorable outcomes of getting ahead is only 1. So, yung 1, yung favorable outcomes. Yun yung numerator natin. Yung 2, yung denominator natin, that is the total number of possible outcomes. So, therefore, the probability of getting ahead when we flip a coin is 1 half. Next activity naman natin is we are going to record yung simple probability experiment na gagawin natin. So, ano yung unang step? Follow the instruction. Ano bang sabi ng instruction? Sabi sa instruction, roll a die seven times. Next, tally each result in the table. And then, we need to write the result in frequency column. Okay. So, iro-roll natin yung die seven times. So, roll natin for the first time. Ang lumabas ay six. Next, five naman. Next, 6. Roll ulit natin. 3 naman for the 
short time. Okay. Two. Okay. Two ulit. Okay. For the last time. Okay. Two ulit. Ilagay naman natin yung result sa frequency column. So, for 1, we have 0. Walang lumabas na 1 kanina. For 2, it appeared 3 times. Kaya, we have 3. Sa so number 3 naman is 1. Sa so number 4, 0. Sa so 5, 1. Sa so 6, 2. So, ano yung formula natin? The P of event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. So, isa-isahin natin. Sa so 1, yung probability kanina na lumabas ang 1 ay 0 over 7. Bakit 0? Hindi nag-appear kanina yung 1, kaya 0 over 7. Bakit 7? Kasi ni-roll natin yung die 7 times. P of 2 naman ay 3. 3 times siya nag-appear kanina. Kaya 3 over 7. Yung 3 naman, once lang, kaya 1 over 7. Yung 4, hindi din siya nag-appear, kaya 0 over 7 or 0. Kay 5, 1 over 7. And kay 6, is 2 over 7. Tubo na sa ating next example. We have here a set of canned goods. Most likely, ito din yung mga ulam na pagpipilian natin ngayon. Lalo na ngayon na naka-quarantine tayo, ang ginawa natin, nag-stock na tayo ng canned goods para mas uh, maiwasan pa yung transmission ng virus from one person to another person. So, ang maging tanong natin, ano yung probability or chance of choosing a meatloaf para ulam natin tomorrow? Ayan. So, ito yung formula. Sulat mo natin ang formula. The P of E is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So, anong hinahanap natin? Ano yung probability na meatloaf ang mapipili para ulam natin tomorrow? Okay. So, alamin natin, ilang meatloaf na lang ba yung natitira? So, we have 1, 2. So, therefore, yung number of favorable outcomes natin ay 2. Kasi meron pang dalawang natitirang meatloaf. Next, alamin naman natin, ano yung total number of possible outcomes? So, bilangin natin silang lahat. Meron tayong 3 Argentina corn beef, meron tayong 4 mega sardines, and we have 2 Argentina meatloaf. Add them all together. Meron tayong 9 total number of outcomes. So therefore, the probability or the chance of choosing a meatloaf is 2 over 9. I have here a set of fruits. So, isa sa dapat natin gawin para malabanan natin yung virus is kailangan natin panatilihing malusog ang ating pangangatawan. One of which is kailangan natin kumain ng mga masustansyang pagkain tulad ng prutas. Especially, uh, yung mga foods that contain vitamin C. So, I have here a set of fruits, orange, banana, and apple. What is the chance of choosing an apple? So, ano yung probability na ang makuha ko without looking is apple? So, yung una natin gagawin, we use the formula. Ano yung formula of a simple event? P of E is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. So, we need to find the probability of getting an apple. Ano natin alamin? Ilan yung number of apples na meron tayo? Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, therefore, meron tayong apat na apples. Next, alamin natin ilan yung total number of possible outcomes. Para malaman yon, we need to count all the fruits that we have. So, we have 3 for orange, 3 for banana, and 4 for apples. Yung total number of outcomes na meron tayo is 10. 3 plus 3 plus 4. So therefore, we have 10 total number of possible outcomes. Reduced to lowest term, this will become 2 over 5. So the probability or yung chance of choosing an apple is 2 over 5. Outcomes of probability experiments 
can also be classified using this scale. The first one is 1. So, sure to happen. If the event is sure to happen, the probability is 1. Example, what is the probability of choosing a milk from this set without looking? So, yung sagot is 1 or yung probability is 1 because all I have is a set of milk. Sa mga panahong ito, ugaliin natin ang pag-inom ng gatas araw-araw. Kapag ang bata ay umiinom ng gatas, mabilis na kanyang paglaki. Bukod dito, siya ay nagiging malusog, matalino, at masigla. Therefore, kapag sure to happen ang isang event, the probability is 1. Next, kapag equally chance to happen, yung probability is 1 half. Without looking, what is the probability of choosing an orange juice? So, we have here a set of glasses. Three of them is orange juice, at yung tatlo ay gatas. A total of six glasses. Probability, para ang mapili natin ay orange juice, ay one half. Equally chance to happen. Kasi, equal yung number ng orange juice at gatas sa baso. Next ay, impossible to happen. O, ang next ay, impossible to happen. Kapag impossible to happen, ang probability niya ay zero. For example, probability of choosing a milk ay zero. Bakit zero? Kasi all we have is a set of orange juice. Yung laman ng mga baso na meron tayo ay orange juice lahat. So, imposible and will never happen na makakapili tayo ng baso ng gato.